Oh, door, God. Blow you into vacuum and take it anyway. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, how about no? Bye bye. That's the last time I get jumped. Give me these credits. This is exactly what I need. Alright. Where's your friend? Ah. Whew. That's like the third time today. I don't been jump up jump jump that up and jump 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 and I've been jump now as I was saying and that is why I'm an agent and I had to fit in with the Prince Fleet. So now you guys understand, right? Now this is it. Now, I'm bringing you guys along and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can, if I can, uh, I'm new at this, so you gotta give me a minute. I'm gonna see. Uh, how well I can pay you guys if you just play alone, all right? Let's see if I can ask my commander uh, if it's okay to put you guys on the pay grade because this is some seriously good money. And Barrett, I know you. You've got charm up the ass. So I think you'll make a great agent. Can I dock? Permission to dock. Nobody hails the key. Just do your business. Okay. I'm coming in then. All right. So. After telling you guys my business and what's been going on, what do you say, Ella? Ella? Hey, what's going on? What do you got for Trey? Actually, you can just Take stay on the ship. Just stay on the ship. Just stay on the ship. You don't have to worry about it. But remember what I said. Just play along. If anybody come on the ship, play along. Barrett, are you coming with me? I'm all ears. You're all ears? Good, listen up. See you later. Alright. I hope bringing you here was an, uh, an accident. You wanted 4K, you got 4K. Not my problem. Can I help you? You don't cross the fleet without paying the price. Credits or blood. The hell are you talking are you about? Me? Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Hey, Pay three thousand credits. Stolen know. items confiscated. Whoa, well, what stolen know. items? Did I steal something? Sounds like you just I just got here. Uh, sure. Here. Next time, think before you betray your own. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay. I guess I stole something. I'm trying to steal something again. Hey, I finally made it. Sorry. The hell took you so long? I had some other Forget shit to do. Grab jump or something. I had some other shit to do. Chill out. I don't care. Time is money, and you've wasted both. That ends today. Clear? But all that aside, you made it. So now you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Great. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Key. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but 
We keep it together. Well, the UC builds for multi-layer hulls of track, so this station should be fine. Wow, thanks, Professor. That's... that's just terribly fascinating. Uh-huh. I'll be certain to pass that on to the maintenance crew who have to use bailing wire to keep the plating from peeling off. Well, it's better to build and repair on a solid foundation than to repair something that was never meant for this. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you, too. Follow me. Alright. I will. Oh, Where you go? Man. History time. You walked all around to so, walk that way? Is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies little supermax prison they call the lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, lock, key. Uh, cute, huh? Yeah. We've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Of course. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nav. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here is Jasmine. You need anything for your ship? She's got you covered. Okay. Hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the luck. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, neighbor. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's oh, wow. getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Alutra. Anyway, hell? welcome to the depot, world. Well, you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just lining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. Hey. If I don't have it, you don't need it. No, no, really? Am. Blueprint. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, neighbor. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. If it's On hard right, to find, got I'm Bradley probably from got the it. Trade Authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. They'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you know? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Corps, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new Rook, Neva? 
I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Wow. I say that's a bit of screen. Exactly the lengths we're willing to go to protect ourselves. Since I <coughs> the me. bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Right. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Huh. Huh. I bet you don't get out much. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Okay. Thanks to advanced modifications even Nugent would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There. You're done. Okay. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Ah, uh, time to make those credits. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. Okay. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. Hmm. So it's like we've been doing a lot of business together then. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. The elevator? Oh. Alright, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Every time I see Red Lee smile, I want to punch him in the face. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. Damn. Hey. The fleet's the only family you need. Really? We'll have the whole settled systems on the run someday. Someday. Ah, there are some other new recruits. Hey. Hello. Delgado, right? Hello. Now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, right. Let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. Huh. I'm just waiting to cash in. 
You and everyone else on this station. Keep following orders, and you'll get paid. It's as simple as that. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. I know. You stay loyal, or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. <laughs> oh, that doesn't include sleep before breakfast because I like to sleep late. <laughs> I'm saying, oh, that doesn't include sleep before breakfast because I like to sleep late. Hey, if you've got a problem, I can decorate that wall behind you with your brains. Well, could use a little color if you ask me. Come try me, bitch. It's all right, neighbor. I admire this rook's backbone. Takes a lot of guts to crack jokes with the threat of death staring them in the face. <laughs> oh, really? Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. <laughs> Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet, and if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Okay. Tell me about this Crix legacy. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. All right. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Uh. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for you, Sisteff. Hmm. Will the fleet just become a larger target for the UC? You forget the UC is still licking its wounds from the colony wars. They don't have the capability to mount a full-scale assault. And if they were foolish enough to attack, we would have the manpower to push those pendejos right back to Jemison. If we have Crix's legacy. Hmm. Will be unstoppable. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Okay. Don't keep me waiting. I won't. 